flood situation seems to have stabilized somewhat, but no one seems to talk about the health issue. Um, we have received a lot of warnings from uh, local, local and international experts on the health uh, system protection of Thailand. So, Kun Tunsatit, how much should we be worried about this issue, the health care? Uh, we have, uh, I've got one very important figure here. 2.1 million people have been affected by this flood crisis, but uh, less than 100,000 of these people are staying with the government, they're staying right. in the shelters. That means uh, uh, over 2 million people are trying to make it out on their oh, own. Right. They're living their life on their own, they eat, they're eating their own food, they don't have clean water every day, and they have to deal with any uh, threat any uh, diseases by their own. So that's it's a, a quite a big worry to me. Um, we, uh, you, you're right that uh, someone had to start uh, thinking about this issue, and we haven't heard that from the government at least. We know that the public health minister is in the FROC, but um, so far he has been uh, anonymous. We haven't heard anything from him, and um, this issue. Uh, need to be addressed now before it become overwhelming like the other issues that the government have been facing. Right. We are talking about uh, filthy water right. that is everywhere and we're talking about uh, the shortage of clean uh, drinking water, um, flooded hospitals, overwhelmed uh, health personnel. We right. don't have enough people to take care and we have transportation problems also. Uh, blood nodation, we don't have enough blood. Uh, today we heard about the, uh, the Red Cross uh, uh, calling for people to donate their blood. So, so many things uh, that need to be taken care of, but uh, it seems to be this government is uh, looking to long term in the future and uh, we haven't heard any major plan and uh, announcement from the government on this. Right. The government um, seem to have some long long term recovery pr um, plan to help the victims and as well as the uh, recovery uh, plan to uh, for the business section yes. as well mm -hmm. and may have some compensation for uh, people right yes um, you, you but see, it doesn't have anything to do with this issue. Yes, uh, right? this health issue is, 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 hard, is hardly um, rewarding when it comes to political, uh, uh, when uh, politically speaking, the health issue is uh, the least rewarding and it's really tiring. You got to involve so many people, so many agencies, and it's, you, you cannot show to the people how, many, how much money you're going to give them, and that could be a, a one reason. The, this government, all we heard about is the, how they, w they, they will try to revive the economy after this, how they try to revamp the uh, flood uh, prevention uh, system of the country in the future. That uh, it's, it's good politically, but uh, this, this uh, health issue is, is much more important at the moment. Someone had to do something about it. Are Bangkok is in, um in, in danger, more dangerous than um, up countries people talking about the water quality. Well, but the, uh, the, the threat is uh, widespread because uh, more than 20 provinces are still under flood water and uh, we have to remember that these people, they have to deal with um, uh, the, the issue that we talk about every single day. They don't have a clean uh, water to drink, they don't have when they got diseases, they don't have access to immediate health care because <laughs> they, they spend the night in their flooded home with no electricity, with no clean water, and when, when, when something happens, they have to manage by their own. Uh, so this is uh, a crisis they have to deal with every day, but the government has to, ha has to do something about it. The water is um, dirtier, right, in Bangkok? Yes, um, complain. Uh, we have received a lot of complaints about smelly water, and that should be the least of the concern. The smelly water is okay, but uh, unsafe water is much more dangerous. And and the smelly water, as we know, must be very, very dangerous also. So, uh, although we have heard complaints from only Bangkok people, but uh, the reason could be that they are the only people with the access to the media, right. to to the government. But the people. 
in the rural area they can, they, they don't know how, who to turn to and and how to get the information across to the government right uh, we seem to have heard a lot of uh, political issue over the past few weeks, uh, the fight between the uh, Bangkok governor and the government on the uh, flood gate at Kong Samwa. But this time, I, I think that this issue is uh, more serious than um, those issues. issues. So we hope that someone from the government will step out and take this uh, issue seriously.